In selecting Rogers Marvel, the Security Task Force noted that their design proposals um, extend the security perimeter uh, outward in a bold and elegant way. We think, number one, the ellipse is that extraordinary space because it is adjacent to the White House. It is not somewhere else. And it is both the place where you have First Amendment rights presentations, you've got protests. And by moving the barrier south and to the, around the perimeter of the ellipse, we have opened up and given broad choice for congregation, for movement. The foreground of the view of the White House is the ellipse itself. E Street is still designated by a change in paving. We've left the historic bollards connected by chain. We were very much attracted to the idea of being able to subtly increase the grade of the ellipse. It allows us to present the anti-ram wall that creates the formal promenade, the bench seating, the vegetated swale, and then the parking as a sort of order hierarchy moving from the ellipse out. We've got the sally port for the entry of vehicles that are controlled and managed. You've got the opportunity for emergency vehicles or motorcade to continue across. It's quite critical, even if we've taken it over for other purposes, that the fundamental view corridor of the street is maintained, that in fact that's, that is the historic quality of that as a street. Mr. Rogers, thank you very much. And we want to again congratulate Rogers Marvel for um, preparing such a, a thoughtful, beautiful proposal. Um, congratulations for winning the competition.